We are here. I picked this sauce up. Are you it crazy? <laughs> this is gonna now you smell it. I imagine this is what poison smells like. Oh my god. Oh. Milk? Oh no. The UK is currently experiencing a heat wave. As British people, we're very pathetically weak when it comes to the heat. We're not used to it. We don't know how to deal with it. We don't have ACs in the house. And um, most of us probably don't even use sunscreen. I do now. Just before anyone starts going crazy at me, I have recently... I'm ashamed to admit it's taken me this long to use sunscreen. I, I never used to wear sunscreen before. What? And now that I realize that we're supposed to use sunscreen every two hours, I'm really afraid of all the damage I've done to my skin already. But. Don't worry, I'm using sunscreen, so it's okay. In fact, I should take this with me, because you gotta reapply it every two hours. Today, we are trying Korean food. Fun fact, I've already been to the Korean supermarket, and I bought a ridiculous amount of Korean food. Loki got way too excited, and then my fridge broke. So I had to get rid of all that food. I'm fine, it's fine. I, I, have, I have dealt with it, I have processed it, and I'm finally ready to go back to the Korean supermarket and do this all over again. Hopefully my new fridge arrives tomorrow, so I will be getting a new fridge! You never realize how much you need a fridge until you don't have a fridge. I have seen more moldy food in the past month than I have ever seen in my life. I don't think I can look at food the same way ever again because I've just seen too much mold that the mold image is imprinted into my brain. What a great way to start the video. So just know that's where I am with my headspace when I look at food. Anyway, back to the point of this video. Taz went to the Korean supermarket. Don't worry guys, she wore a mask and now we are ready to make this video. You're gonna realize that the main thing featuring in this video is something called kimchi. It's more like a side dish, something you have with everything. Isn't it crazy that depending on what culture you're brought up in, you have such a different taste palette. I grew up eating a lot of spicy food, so most British food tastes really bland to me. The reason I say that is because this is fermented cabbage, so this is what it looks like. Oh! Oh, it doesn't actually smell as strong as I thought it would. I thought it would be really pungent. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot more intense than it is. This is what the kimchi looks like. Oh, that's actually really good. I really like that. It's not as intense as I thought it I thought it tastes really pickly. It does a little, but it's really nice. I don't think I've ever had anything like this before. I don't know if this is breakfast food, but I'm gonna have it as my breakfast. I'm gonna make kimchi pancake. Inside you get the pancake mix, real kimchi pack. And all you have to do is add water. I love how it emphasizes real as opposed to fake. <laughs> I am quite excited to try this out. If it's anything like that kimchi I tried earlier, I think we're gonna have a great time. Oh my god, it smells so good. Ooh. Ooh, that is really good. It's a bit salty, but it's also really... I don't know, it makes you salivate. It's really weird to explain. It's definitely a different, unique taste that I haven't had before. I really, really like this. Honestly, 10 out of 10 would recommend. So far, Korea is coming in strong. For lunch, I will be making kimchi fried rice. For the kimchi fried rice, I followed a tutorial from a YouTube channel called Mangchi, who a lot of you guys recommended in the comments. Ooh, it's a lot sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. I think I put too much sesame oil in it. I'd give the rice a six out of 10. Not because it tastes bad, but because I'm not like crazy about it. Could also be because I just did a bit really bad job of making it. I don't even know if this is how it's supposed to taste. Oh, hey, all the kimchi. We, we love, love, kimchi. love kimchi. We, we love, love kimchi. kimchi. I also picked up this snack and this drink. And apparently these are really popular. This is the drink. So this is a soft drink soda. Milk? Oh no. This is a milk drink. I mean it makes sense, it's called Milkis. But I didn't put two and two together. So as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of milk. So if I end up liking this, it's gonna be a miracle. I really like it. This is really good. Mm. What does this taste like? I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like. Okay, this is gonna sound really weird, but it kind of low-key tastes like iron brew. Yeah, it kind of tastes like iron brew. But yeah, iron brew is like this bright orange drink that's sold in the UK. Oh wow, this is really, <gasps> this is naughty. I'm so glad I only got one can because I would have drunk this a lot. <gasps> I've already gone through halfway through where I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I can't drink anymore. I can't. I can't. 
You're not good for me. Stop it. Stop it, you tease. Can't even look at you. I can't. Why are you so good though? Do I want to know how much sugar is in this? Do I really? Oh, go on then. I can feel my teeth decaying as we speak. The ingredients are water, fructose, food acid, artificial flavour, in brackets, yoghurt. Oh, maybe it does taste like yoghurt. Oh, I'd like this. Okay, this gets a 10 out of 10. Now we're going on to snacks. This is like really, um... Oh my god, is this gonna pop? Too much air in it. It's gone down to half its size. It's like a pasta shell. Oh, it's sweet. It's not spicy though. On the packaging it says so hot. So I picked it up thinking it's gonna be really spicy. Um, it's not. It's really sweet. It tastes like it's been glazed with honey. You know the cereal golden nuggets? That's basically what this tastes like. That's low-key disappointing. I thought I was gonna get something really like... I thought it was gonna be like a cheesy crisp with spice on it. So basically like a cheetah. I thought it was gonna be a cheetah. I'd give this like a four out of 10. Now I'm gonna make Korean barbecue. I've had Korean barbecue at a restaurant before. I've never made Korean barbecue. I'm at my cousin's, which means I have a better kitchen to work with. I already know I'm gonna get comments about social distancing. So just to explain, the government has allowed single adult households to meet another household as part of their social bubble. So don't worry guys, still following the lockdown rules. Usually with a Korean barbecue, you have different variations of meat. We've got beef, lamb, and chicken. And I'm gonna marinate it with this bulgogi sauce. I mean, it says it's for beef, but I'm gonna use it for everything. Oh, it doesn't smell that great. Oh, okay, it tastes better. It tastes better than it smells. So the lesson here is don't smell things. Do you want to try it? Just try a little bit. That's all right. It's not, it's yeah, it's... It's like cheese and crisps. It is! It's like a weird kind of way. What? That's so... My brain just went... Yeah. Psh. Only walkers, though. Yeah, only walkers. Only walkers. Of course. None of that non-brand stuff. That's <laughs> definitely walkers, cheese and... Oh my God, that's walkers, cheese and onion. <laughs> People are going to be so offended. You are a cheat. I knew it would be good to have you around. I knew, this is why I keep you around. I picked this sauce up. So you know the fire noodles challenge that everyone's been doing on the internet? This is the sauce version of that. Thought I would buy it and try it out. Are you it crazy? Is it's drowning in it. This is gonna now you can smell it. it. You can smell it now. Oh my God, it's drenched in it. I don't even know if that's, this is lethal. I don't think this is safe anymore. I can already feel my belly uh, crying. I invested and bought this grill. So hopefully my, it should look like this. And then this, so if this is the, uh, so the heat goes in underneath, yeah. Hey, and you can lift it up. I'm also gonna make something called tteokbokki, which is Korean rice cakes in a red pepper paste sauce. I kind of cheated and just bought a ready-made packet. This is what the rice cakes look like. I'm also gonna put some fried fish balls in it. I don't know if they're probably fish defrosted. Fish balls? Yes, fish balls. And at long last, we are here. Where's my rice cakes at? Oh, okay, found them. Do a little really close up on this. Oh, oh, I don't get what's happening, I'm stressing out. Why does that one look like a treat? <laughs> I don't know. We learned not to smell things. Sorry. Oh, it smells like poison. <laughs> I imagine this is what poison smells like. Oh my god. Oh. This is gonna hit our bellies a lot. Now they're getting a bit squidgy, and that's what we want. We want it to be squidgy. Ooh, that actually tastes quite good. You know what? What did I realize? Smell it, awful. Taste it, great. And that's Korean cooking in a nutshell. Oh no! It's breaking apart. Okay, this is taking ages though. This is Are you done? <laughs> Yeah, that's not ready. <laughs> that's not. Yes. Where's the noise is coming from? Oh my god, it's working! Okay, okay, okay. I'm excited now because it's working. The chicken's not done. The chicken's definitely not done. Oh, it's getting a bit hot. This is the most stressful cooking I've ever had. I don't think I'm cut out for this. It's a proper workout. What you don't see on camera is the stress behind the scenes. I realised with um, Korean barbecue, it's very stressful because you've got to keep doing it. I think this is done. Can I have the plate? I think the most common way of having this is with lettuce. And I'm basically going to put everything on it. Rice? Do you like rice? You got the rice? So it's the beef. Okay, so we're going to put some beef on oh, it. Oh, that looks so good. Would you have some aubergine? 
I would love some more well, kimchi. Uh, Thank you. A little bit of kimchi. That's a lot of kimchi. This is the most stressful <laughs> thing. So then you just mush it all up and hope for the best. Animal. I'm commit. I'm commit. I want coke. Oh, that's really good. That's my beautiful cousin. Don't, because I'm not too good at show. <laughs> the beef is really, really chewy. Okay, I'm gonna try the lamb this time. Why would you shove it all in? That's how it's supposed to eat. Oh, the lamb is so much better. The lamb is way better. You know, I'm so exhausted from it. I'm like emotionally drained right now. This I is the most. The spice was a good shout, and we can't even really taste the spice. I think you should let the people know that. After I think you already did. Yeah, I'm gonna I keep that in. Either. This is the really hot, spicy sauce. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't taste of anything. As in, like, it's not extreme at all. Oh no, it comes at, at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel a little bit after, but it's not as much as we thought it was gonna be. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered with the lettuce. Ooh, it's nice with the rice. This is a tteokbokki, which I uh, I overcooked to death. Ooh, I like this. It's really sweet. Go oh, the tteokbokki is really hot. It's really spicy. Oh, okay. It's not bad. It doesn't taste like fish though. This doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. I'm not crazy about it. And it's got a weird squiddy texture. This, on the other hand, I love. So this is banana milk. And apparently banana milk is really popular in Korea. Okay, so my mic went really weird here, but basically I loved the banana milk. It tasted like those foam banana gummy sweets, but like not sickly sweet. I ended up drinking the whole thing in seconds. 10 out of 10, would recommend. It says real banana juice, but this is not real. This lighting though, it's kind of makes my skin glow. So I've just edited the footage and I realized one thing that I was really bad at is explaining the flavors of the food. And the main reason is because all the flavors were so new and different that I don't really know how to explain it. Korean barbecue, like the bulgogi sauce, which I'm assuming is like barbecue sauce. Don't quote me on that. I'm trying to get cultured. I'm not saying I am cultured. Still very much an uncultured swine. Let's please remember that. <laughs> it's kind of like sweet, but it's not just sweet. There's something else there, but I don't know what that flavor is, but it's very good. It's very good. Now I know there's so many more Korean foods that I didn't get to try, but you know, I've got the rest of my life to do that. See this video as like a little taster on Korean food. But see what I did there? Huh. Maybe that's where the word taster comes from. No, it's tester. Is it taster or is it tester? Do you say this is a little taster or do you say this is a little tester? Suddenly I'm forgetting the English language. I need to like read a book or something. Anyway, shall we look at this week's It's Fine Taz post? Okay, for those who don't know, I created a hashtag called It's Fine Taz. Basically a Taz community where you can all come together and share positive whatever things you want to post. Whatever you want to do, post it in that hashtag on Instagram, Twitter, in the comment section. I will select a few and put it in a video. I've decided I want to do something a bit different. This week, I want to ask you guys a question. Hopefully you'll answer that question within the hashtag. This week's question is, what are your goals? Or what is a goal? So I'll start, <laughs> since I'm the only one who can speak right now. I've said this in a few videos. My main goal in life is to get a house. I don't want to spend money because I want to save it all for a house. And obviously houses are crazy expensive. So I'm going to be saved for a while. I just want a house where as soon as you walk in, you know it's mine. Like you just see my personality everywhere. Oh wow! You know what that is? That's my future right there. My future be looking hella bright. So that is my goal. Um, is it a very superficial goal? I don't know. Like I'm generally speaking, I'm not a materialistic person. But then I set out my goal is to get a house and that is quite materialistic. But like I really want a home. Let me know what your current goal is. Feel free to answer it under the hashtag It's Fine Taz. This week, hashtag It's Fine Taz posts are these but the highlighted post is this oh i lost it i just landed my first adult job i am so excited but for legal reasons i am not allowed to tell anyone yet just thought i would share it here with the good people of it's fine taz though love to click with taz and all her peeps honestly this made me so happy with everything that's going on right now seeing a positive post like this shared in the community hashtag makes me really happy and i just wanted to share that with all you fine people. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please know that you matter and I love you lots and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye. I actually can't see anymore. My face is burning.